Hi, my name is Prasenjit and I work for BMC Atrium Orchestrator product. This is part one of a four part video series where I would like to walk you through the installation process of Atrium Single Sign On and BMC Atrium Orchestrator. This video series will focus on the graphical installation on Windows platform and will be covering the complete installation process. The video series will basically help you to quickly have a running Atrium Orchestrator instance with minimum required components. So let's get started. Before starting with the actual installation process, we need to take care of few prerequisites. Make sure that the user who is performing the installation is an administrator or a user with administrator rights and permissions. Then the data execution prevention, that is the DEP, and the terminal services are configured to recognize the installation program. And lastly, make sure you have downloaded and copied the installer files from the BMC product download page onto the desired installation server. By the end of this video series, we'll be setting up a BAO 7.8 environment and we'll be covering the installation of Atrium SSO, Repository, CDP, Dev Studio, and BAO Content Package 2015-03. Let's start with the demo. On this server, I'll be installing an instance of Atrium SSO and the BMC Atrium Orchestrator repository. I have already downloaded the copy of the installer files from the BMC product download page and I have copied it on the server. This is the SSO installer. This one is the BMC Atrium Orchestrator server package. This one is the Dev Studio installer. And lastly, this is the content pack 2015-03. Let's extract the SSO installer. Once extracted, go to this directory, go to BMC Atrium SSO, disk one, and run the setup file as an administrator. Click Next, accept the license agreement, click Next. Over here, we'll be installing a single instance of single sign-on. Select the first radio button, if not already, and click Next. This is the location where we'll be installing the Atrium SSO. I'll keep it at the default location. It has automatically picked up the fully qualified host name of this machine. One thing to remember is when working with Atrium SSO and BAO 7.8, you need to provide the fully qualified host name every time. Click Next. We'll set up a non-clustered instance. Hit the Next button. Now it's asking if we want to install it in a new Tomcat container or an existing one. We'll continue with the new one. Click Next. Over here, the installer has automatically picked up the default ports. So the HTTP instance of Atrium single sign-on will be installed on 8443 and 8005 will be used as the default shutdown port. Click the next button. Now it is validating if the ports are open at this point. If in case the ports are invalid or if they are blocked, you will see an error message right over here. Looks like for me, the ports are open. Over here, it picks up the domain. Click the next button. On this screen, provide the administrator password for Atrium single sign-on. I'll provide admin123. Make sure you remember this password as this password is not recoverable. Click next. Now hit the install button and the installation will begin.
The installation of Atrium SSO is now completed. Hit the Done button. As we can see, the service has been successfully deployed and it's running. In the next part of the video series, we'll be installing the repository and the CDP.